Uh, what are we doing? We're doing a random featured post, but this technique, this custom code can be used for anything that you want to randomize on your Webflow project. So here we go. I'm going to show you the um, finished product, right? So here's just um, a free template, a free blog template that I got on Webflow. And if I just refresh it, notice that the the top featured um, um, blog post is randomized. Okay. And there we go. And keep refreshing. And there's only three. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. This is really, really simple. And I'm going to explain everything as best I can. All right. Let's go back to the template. So we're here on the template. And the top post item, check this out. Um, it has a limit of one item. So show only one item and start at one. So I'm going to remove the number of items and we have three and you know what? Um, let's see here. Let's go here to the post. We have 16. So let's see here. How can I check? Is this a featured post? So yes, yes, and yes. Let's make, let's make it four. All right. So is this featured post? Yes save now I have four of them okay now if I look here it's repeating four times because it's a collection list okay very simple it's a collection list All right now let's go to the custom code that makes this randomizing happen I'm gonna to go to the home page actually the pages panel and I'm going to open up the settings and let's let's start at the bottom of JavaScript right here okay and let me explain it line by line Okay, this math.floor and math.random, basically this is what's making the computer find a random number. And what you do is you get a random number uh, and then you, you take the number three. And so the number three is the amount, the maximum amount of blog posts that are in here. So uh, in my first example, I had three. So this one, I'm gonna change it to four, okay? and after that, we just have plus one. So it's uh, we want to take a random number between four and one, or one and four. Okay, that's all this is saying. All right. Then when it gets that number, it saves it in the computer or in the browser, and we're calling it hero num or hero number. You can call this whatever you want. Change it. it it's up to you. Okay. And then right here, I'm using a little Java, a uh, little bit of jQuery saying top post item so this is the class dot top post item and where I got that class name is right here top post item and I removed the uh, uppercase and made them all lowercase and I removed the uh, spaces and replaced them with dashes because that's what you have to do when it comes to custom coding and then I did this thing right here nth of type so it's just um, it's looking for it, it so CSS can count uh, how many of these classes are there. Okay, so how many um, elements are with this class? So right now we have four. Okay, and so it says nth of type hero number. So we get the hero number from here, and say the number is two. So the number goes in here, and then it goes in here. So this line is saying find the second top post item okay and then add a class of show okay we're going to add an extra css class name called show all right now let me let me again say it we get the number between one and four right here we save that number and then we count how many top post items we have and we put that number in here Okay, and so when we find that um, when we find that top post with that number, we add a class for show. Okay. Now going to the head tag, this is where we put our custom CSS. Okay, and so when the page first loads, I want to make sure that all the top post items are hidden; they're display none. So I'm setting that immediately. Okay, and the reason why I don't do it here on the canvas is because I still want to see uh, changes that I make on on Webflow. 
if I set this to none right here, if I set this to none right here, yeah, let's go right here. I can't see what I'm doing, okay? Like if I want to make any changes to the styles, uh, the font, or, or anything, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to undo that, and now I can see what I'm doing, and I'm going to let the custom code hide it once I publish the site, okay? So that's what that is doing. And then top post item dot show. This right here is coming from here. So I'm going to look for the uh, top post uh, and give it, find the one with this number add a class of show and when that happens it sets the display flex now if you're not using flexbox then you're just you, you can use like display block or inline block whatever display property uh, you need to use okay but this one is using flexbox so I was able to find the CSS of flex and I'll show you how I did that I'm gonna go back to the actual page I'm gonna right click inspect and let's just let me show you top post item right here see how it has the extra class of show that's what's making a show so i found the flex right here so i just copied all of that and then pasted it into webflow right there okay and now since i have four i'm going to click save publish and let's look at it Okay, there's one of them. Sometimes you have to refresh a couple times. There's a second one, third one, and I think that's the fourth one. No, that's the fourth one. Awesome. So yeah, that's randomizing. And again, you can use this code wherever you need randomizing. I know that I've used this code on my wife's uh, project uh, in the past for like um, for the Calic appeal. Um. Just randomizing the background. So yeah, I mean you can do whatever you want with this um, randomizer. Okay. All right. Hope this helps. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Um, if you have any comments or questions about it, please leave it in the Slack channel. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. And as always, make the web beautiful. See ya.